What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. Um, if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring a little bell and buy my soul job, I super appreciate you saying, 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 saying. This is a semi blackout reading. Um, like, you know, I did the daily tea earlier. I explained why. Um, I dyed my hair and I got hair dye all up on my face, but I'm so freaking pale. It looks like somebody beat me up. So I don't want to alarm anybody or scare anybody. So. Um, that's why the face is blacked out and oh my god I wish I could show you guys um, I went and got my hair cut today and it looks so freaking cute so when you know it doesn't look like somebody beat me up the three days of Sunday um, I will show you my cute hair oh my god it's so cute but um, not right now because I don't want anybody being like um, you know like, oh my God, do we need to call the police? Did somebody beat her up? Because, I mean, it looks bad. It looks bad. But, you know, that um, the beauticians um, knew, you know, it's obvious because it's around my eyebrows and hairline and all that. But but it does look bad. So, um, I um, felt guided to do a reading. I was sitting in here um, after I got back. Me and my daughter went and we got back. and We were chilling and I got a message. So, I'm going to do a reading. And I picked out some decks that I thought would be good given the pre, um, first message. So um, the message is someone has very serious regrets of how they treated someone in the past. That is what I heard. Someone has very serious regrets of how they treated someone in the past. Um, you take it how it resonates. So you guys, I picked these two out. And we're going to roll with it, and then we'll go from there, okay? Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't, ooh, excuse me. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, yeah, just saying. Hope everybody's doing okay today, for real, for real, for real. I do. Feminine energy, the feminine energy is what I just heard. Feminine energy to feminine energy. So it's a feminine energy to a feminine energy that has these serious regrets of how they treated someone in the past is what I'm assuming because I heard fem to fem. So um, you take it out, resonates. Spirit messages to you have for this life today. This feminine energy knows they were drawn into some serious, bigger picture, nasty dealings. Okay. I heard this feminine energy knows they were drawn into some serious, bigger picture, nasty, nasty dealings. So you take it how it resonates. Um, I'm assuming it's that feminine energy that's very regretful of uh, how she treated another feminine energy. Um she really sees now the truth and it really makes her sad okay i heard she really sees the truth now and it really makes her sad so um you take it how it resonates some of these feminine energies are going to stand up to this situation soon some are not okay well there you go i heard some of these same energies are uh, so it's more than one fifth energy in here that has treated another pimp energy basically like trash um but whoever if you know if you're the one that's treated with someone like trash or you're the one that was treated like trash you have you have to plug it in your life how it resonates however that resonates but i heard some of the fem energies that treated a particular fem energy in their life like trash in some type of way i heard are really going to stand up to um to the situation soon and that's wonderful that's wonderful Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. It's all in here. All freaking in here. Okay. We have Phoenix Rising, Alchemy, and Sadness. Okay. Get some of these. If 
if you guys wouldn't mind sharing, sharing, sharing the videos and spreading word of mouth, I'd really super appreciate it. Really helps get my channel out there. Helps it grow, 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 grow. We are growing, 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 freaking growing, you guys. So, um, and I know it's because of the support and love of you guys. So, if you wouldn't mind, keep sharing, sharing, sharing the videos on social media, sharing word of mouth. I really appreciate it. That I mean, everything's up. It's up, up, up. The view counts up. The sub counts up. Watch time hours are up. Everything is up. So, um, I would just really would appreciate it. Colorless Angel. Spirit messages you have for the collective. But I heard some, um, some of these feminine energies are really going to stand up to the situation soon. So however they're going to stand up, it could be, you know, you know, because everybody, everybody connects depending on your occupation, how many people you could network with on a daily basis, um, you know, who you um, interact with. Um, you can interact with somebody, you know, on happenstance that really could probably could help the situation is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you never freaking know. You never know. So, you know, information sometimes is life-changing. can be life-changing to the right person. I just feel like somebody might need to hear that. You know, sometimes sharing if you want to help and you're sharing some kind of very very important information of the past that you know can really really freaking help the situation like a website or a channel name or something you knew was hidden that really could blow open a case or something of that nature um that you knew was potentially being hidden for strategic purposes from person people place or organization and you run in happen to run into somebody that could maybe investigate it or look into it deeper or or maybe put a hold on it if it's illegal like you know all these damn hidden cameras cameras that's being implanted into people's homes recently with the secret seven going bad reading um, um then you know you have you have you can help you can help i'm just saying now that secret seven family nobody helped her nobody helped her and her family and she she had to take matters in her own hands to shut that damn camera down in her home. But, you know, now there's being cameras planted in other people's homes. So, you know, and I heard the chain was, man, I can't, I want to put it up and I can't. Damn it. I heard the chain was going to keep, um, man, maybe you can see my balls a little bit. Okay. Hey, you guys. Hey. See, I can't go above because that's when it starts getting crazy because my eyebrows. Hey, I love you guys. Oh, my God. It feels so weird being down here like this. Um, but yeah, maybe, you know, you never freaking know. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, this, the information, giving the information to somebody that really, really could freaking help. Now that the cycles have changed outside of that Secret 7 home, and now I heard several cameras in several people's homes. I mean, I heard the cycle is going to keep going, basically, until somebody puts a damn end to it. So it sounds like somebody needs to stand up and put an end to it, is what I'm trying to say. Yes, nobody did help the mo single mom in Secret 7 home. She had to take action on her own, own hands. But what happens um, when it just keeps going and going and going to other people's homes? I'm just, what if, it, what if it happens to your home? I mean, just some food for thought, just saying. I love you guys so, oh, see, yeah, you saw a little bit. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see my rocking hair. Just saying. Okay. Okay. So Phoenix Rising. A femme energy is about to really, really rise up in a huge way and help. A situation in the past that she didn't some information very important information some out in the community some in a company situation okay so you take how it resonates 
this is looking good. So I think this is the feminine energy that has the regrets from the past about um, basically um, being nasty to that other feminine energy. However, she was nasty to her, um, you know, that really could resonate going different ways from different people. Uh, but however that resonates, um, she has regrets. But I heard um, one of these, at least one feminine energy is going to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. The one that um, treated this other Fem energy like trash. I heard some of you guys are going to um, provide information out in the community. Um, so, you know, it might be to somebody high up that you didn't realize was high up. It might be somebody high up you know is high up. Um, you know, like I said, it could be hidden channel names. It could be hidden, um, um, what's that, only fans that people. I'm assuming the people that are implanting these hidden cameras in other people's homes are probably create only fans accounts. It's my assumption. I mean, I don't know. That's just my assumption. They're probably creating OnlyFans accounts, but it's not, it's illegal because it's not their home. And these people don't know it, but yet they're feeding cameras. That's my assumption, but you take it out resonates. So if anybody, you know, if you're a feeder through the OnlyFans and you know this person doesn't know what's in there, you could be a lifesaver to them. You really, really could. Now, the single mom Leo had to be a lifesaver to herself for her family, but it doesn't mean you can't help other people. Or the single mom Leo, if you know some, you know, that channel name that was, um, or channel name or website name or whatever was pulled up in her home, you know, you take it out resonates. Um, but I heard um, basically um, somebody's about to rise up. They're about to rise up um, some information in a company. So I think they might work with one of these people that they treated like trash in the past and some out in the community. So, um, they, I heard um, earlier in here that they uh, basically were pulled into um, treating people like trash, um, but they knew they were part of a bigger plan. Um, and they're very regretful now because they see the real truth. So, I'm thinking one of these fem energies, it wasn't just them. It was a hell of a lot of people in the community that was drug into it. A, a ton of people, a ton is what I just heard. A ton of people. A ton. Okay, so a ton of people. So a ton of you guys were brought into this. Um, a ton is what I heard. So it wasn't just you guys. It was a ton of you guys, um, if this resonates for your situation. But you're going to be like a phoenix rising, and you're going to help. And that's beautiful. Alchemy. Really going to plan the information to give out very important information to help yourself and others. Okay. Heard you're really going to plan important information to give out to help yourself and others. So, um, and for some, yourself and one other person. And for some, yourself and a family. Okay. Okay. I heard for some of you guys, it's to help yourself and others. For some, it's to help yourself and one other. And to, for some, it's to help yourself and a family. So you take it out, resonate. So you're alchemizing, you're strategizing um, the information you're going to plan on giving whoever you're going to give it to, whether it's community members or company, uh, somebody in your company or however that resonates. For some, if it's the person in your company, it could be that baby boss energy we've been pulling in very freaking strong. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Because we have been pulling baby boss energy in here. Sadness. This person is very, very sad and regretful of the past. But they know they can help now. And some are soon. Okay. I heard someone is um, very sad and regretful of the past. So um, if this is for you or somebody you're connected to, I heard you're very sad and regretful of the past, but I heard you know you can help now and you're going to. So um, we have the sadness card. So um, you have, you know, lots of sad and regret of the past and absolutely yes, I get it. But, um, but you're going to be like a Phoenix rising baby and you're going to help, help yourself and um, others. And, and that's the way it should be. That's the freaking way it should be. Colorless Angel. Number 32, 25, 5, 10, or 12 may be very significant to someone. 32, 25, 5, 10, or 12. Colorless Angel.
Letter A, T, S, J, P, W, Q, C, B, D. Holy crap, that's a lot of letters. Um, okay, uh, I'm not going to try to attempt to repeat all those because that was a lot of letters. So you can go back and listen to them if you, um, if you want to hear them again. Um, because that was a long, long list, a long list. Um, so just replay it back if you want to hear the letters. Colorless Angels. Um, I heard initials, so that could be um, a first uh, name initial, middle name initial, last name initial. You take it out, resonates um, in your own life. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Uh, maybe you were one of the people that uh, is regretful and is about to step up like a phoenix rising. Or that could be initial of someone that you... Um, that you treat it like trash. You take it out, resonates. Colorless angel. Someone has lost someone dear to them in their family. Some in their family, some just close to them. They know it's negative karma from treating others badly in the past. Oh, man, this is heavy. Oh, okay. Um, so, so, um, I think one of these fem energies, um, if this is yours, somebody you're connected to, I heard is lost somebody. For some, it's some, it was somebody in their family. And for some, it was just somebody close to them. They were connected to that they were very close to. It could have been a friend, a family member. Um, I mean, not a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, um, a, a childhood, um, you know, classmate, college mate, um, you know, somebody they went to social function with, was on a ball team with, um, you take it out resonates with somebody they were connected to. But I heard they lost, they've recently lost them, but they know that it's because um, of negative karma because of treating this particular person or family or group or whoever like trash. I mean, this possible could be possible hate crimes of the past. This could have been um, gang stalking energy. Um, hate crimes, gang stalking energy, um, because it's, it was several people. It was several people involved in this because it wasn't just one fem energies. I heard it was many, many, many people. So I'm thinking it was ha uh, hate crimes, gang stalking, um, uh, what, what else? Um, hate crimes and gang stalking is what I'm thinking, or just maliciousness, um, that involved a ton of folks. But we have the color of this angel card. This person watches over you. You need to know this. You can help change the world for the better now. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I heard um, this person watches over you. You need to know this. So um, somebody needs to know this fem energy because we're all about fem energies in here today. Um, fem energy, if this resonates with you, I heard um, this person, whoever you lost in your life that you know is negative karma from the past, this person watches over you um, and that you know um, that you can make a change now. You can make a change for the better now. That this person, yes, they're gone and they're in the spirit world and they watch over you and cycles have changed. But it doesn't mean that you can't help heal situations now besides hurt them, basically. Um, that's beautiful, actually. It really is. Artificial heart. was very clouded in the past so much so this feminine energy's heart hardened to the situation but now it is softening and really changing 
Okay, so you take it out resonates. This is beautiful. I mean, somebody's going through a huge, um, they're, I think you're going through an awakening, a change. Um, you're having an awakening. Absolutely, whoever this is resonating with, you're having an awakening. Um, absolutely. I didn't hear that in here, but it's, I mean, to me, it's obvious. But I heard um, your heart was ba basically, wh however this situation resonated in your life in the past, whether you gang stalked or hate crimed or just was malicious and evil to um, a person or a family or a group with, it wasn't just you, it was many, many folks. So I don't know if you know it was many folks involved in this or not, but if this resonates with you, it was many folks. So if you didn't know that part, it wasn't just you. It was many, many folks involved in this, just letting you know. Um, but um, I heard your heart basically hardened to the situation. It hardened to the situation. Um, maybe because of, maybe I think so for some of you, I think you did know there was many people involved. I really do. For some, you might not have, but I think for some, you totally did. So, because there's a reason your heart hardened. There's a reason your heart hardened. I think it's because the status quo was in your favor at that time um, with this. But it doesn't sound like it is now. Um, but I heard your heart's really softening now because now it sounds like you're waking up to reality. You're having an awakening and you're waking it up to actual reality. Not some weird fantasy land where people you know go around uh, using and abusing folks um but i heard your heart is your your heart is softening now your heart is softening so technically it, it, it's this your heart is softening now at one time it was cold to the situation definite status quo change now okay i heard uh definite where, what time are we at definite status quo change now okay Definite status quo change now. So there you go. So yeah, so um, the energy's definitely shifted. Um, and now you're in serious regret. But I heard some of you guys are about to step up and help it. Um, definite awakening energy here. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. freaking um, And you know, awakenings are always messy. They, they really, truly are. They always are freaking messy. They always are, just in, in case somebody doesn't know that. Um, I've had one before, and they really are. Um, I just want to share that in case somebody doesn't know that. I'm going to get you a, um, I call them fortune cookie cards, but they're really not. But they're my fortune cookie cards. I feel like, um, um, oh, I feel guided to pull one with this. Spirit messages you have the flexes. But I heard a ton of freaking people was involved in this. So I strongly feel some of you guys did know that. I do. I do. But I strongly feel some of you guys didn't too, though. So in, for the ones that didn't know, there was a ton of freaking people involved. A ton. Men and women. Young and old. Men and women, young and old is what I just heard. Men and women, young and old. So it, sound, it sounds like gang, gang stalking or hate crimes. And I am so serious. And that is, that's serious. But whoever this is resonating with, you pulled yourself out of it. You pulled your energy back. That's for sure. But the status quo has changed too. So that has a lot to do with it as well. Spirit messages you have collective. One particular feminine energy in this is about to, about to deliver so much useful information to one very particular prominent masculine energy that it's going to shift the game in many ways and help out this feminine energy that delivers the information and another feminine energy. Definite game changer. Okay, so you take it out resonates. Man, that's strong. Um, okay, I heard, um, one particular femme energy in this, um, definite Phoenix rising energy in this, I just want to say, 
um, it's about to deliver so much information. I heard to a very prominent masculine energy, very prominent. So he's prominent in the community in some type of way, a community or a company, because we're pulling in community and company in here. In the community or company, um, you take it out resonates, that it's going to be a game changer for this person, this femme energy to delivering the information and another particular femme energy. Um, because whoever is about to deliver this information, if this is you or somebody you're connected to, this femme energy, they have some very important information, very important information, very useful information. Um, but I heard it's going to be game changer. But not only for you delivering it, if this is you delivering it, to uh, it's going to be for the femme energy, another femme energy as well. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's freaking beautiful. So technically, uh, once you deliver this information, it'd be, I would hope, sadness reversed. That's kind of what I'm feeling in here, just saying. Okay, so here's what we got. Listen to your intuition. Let go. You're ready. Listen to your intuition. Intuition is definitely screaming now. Was loud in the past, definitely screaming now. Use it. Okay, I heard your intuition was definitely um, loud at you in the past, so loud at you to do this, it sounds like. Um, but I heard now it's screaming. So it was loud in the past to do this, um, to deliver this important information to this very prominent masculine energy for some of you guys. Um, this person could be in your community or in your company. You take it out, resonates. But however that resonates, I heard um, it's screaming now. So your intuition is screaming now. So like there's no getting around it. Like freaking do it, freaking do it, freaking do it. You know, like it's not being nice no more. So, um, and you know, your intuition is basically the little guider inside of you to tell you if something is wrong or right. So in this situation, it's like, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let go. You have to let go of the past in a certain aspect and deliver information and move forward. Help not hurt. Okay, I heard you have to let go of information. Uh, let go of some of the past. Um, some of the past. So let go of basically the negativity that you brought to this situation in the past. Is how I'm taking this. Let go of the negativity of the situation of the past that you brought to this. And basically move forward in a positive way and help yourself in this um, femme energy um, is how I'm taking this. So let go of the neg release the negativity from the past and move forward. You know, yes, you hurt the situation in the past, but it doesn't mean you can't help it now kind of thing is um, how I'm taking this. You're ready? I heard this information is going to be a game changer. I mean, a freaking game changer. So, I mean, that's, that's serious. You're ready. You're definitely ready. Get it done. Okay, I heard you're definitely ready. Get it done. So, okay, we have a lot of ready, you know, intuition, screaming, um, you know, releasing negativity, moving forward and get it done energy. Um, with the phoenix rising energy and support of your uh, person that passed away that you were close with on the other side i mean this really is beautiful energy it really is i mean um where are we at on time i can't see okay um i know you know it was tough cycle in the past but it doesn't mean you can't make a better cycle in the future um i feel like somebody might need to hear that even though i can't put my face completely out there you guys just saying. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful, wonderful, wonderful choices. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. All right. Um, oh, I love you guys. I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Everybody make wonderful choices. Um, uh, please share the videos, spread word of mouth. Um, I'd so appreciate it. Goal is to get it grow, 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 grow. And it is growing. So, and um, I appreciate all the love and support, everybody, to help it grow. I really do. All right. Everybody make wonderful choices. Namaste.